Hey folks, this is Jake Davis on the Fly Review for you. And today I'm talking about The Bike Riders, released earlier this year, directed by Jeff Nichols and starring Austin Butler, Jody Comer, uh, Michael Shannon, and uh, Tom Hardy. Whole setup here is um, set in the mid 50s to the mid 70s, mid 60s to the mid 70s, tells the story of uh, a, a biker club in, uh, in Illinois. Um, and, you know, there is a slowly more and more become a criminal entity. Uh, and also, all told through uh, the perspective of this uh, journalist who's interviewing their wives and them over the course of several years. Um, I guess this was a true story. Um, was an issue. Uh, it was a book by the same title. Um, look, I don't like the movie. I'm going to give it two stars right now just because it, while it wasn't good, it wasn't like pulling my hair out just trying to get to this fucking thing. Um, it is a film. You know, it's it's a passable. I mean, it, it it it's not like how how did this even get made kind of thing. So, I mean, I can't really get any worse than two stars, but I damn sure I can give it any more. Uh, I didn't like Tom Hardy's accent in this. The accents in general were just really obnoxious and distracting and grating uh jodie comer this is the third film i've seen her in i think it's, it's time to just accept the fact this woman cannot act uh she's she's terrible she's terrible in this she was no good in the last duel she was just about ruined free guy between her and um uh, taiko atiti's ridiculous performance in that uh yeah, I just, you know, it was just this, I've seen it all before, kind of by the numbers, biopic, period, crime movie. It's it, it's just Goodfellas, but instead of, you know, nice suits, it's leather jackets. And, and you know, instead of the you know concrete jungle of New York, it's, it's a bunch of fucking Illinois cornfields. Uh, just, this movie did nothing for me. It couldn't, it just... It was. A, it's a nothing, nothing movie. It felt like Oscar bait. Couldn't stand the title. Thought Awesome Butler. I mean, he's just spends a whole movie standing around trying to look cool. Just this. Thought this movie really, really sucked. Um. And you know, they keep fucking this up. You know, thir fifty-five years ago, Dustin Hoffman showed these people how to make a biker movie. You want to make a biker movie? You make a movie about what these machines represent, what the relationship between the machine, the man, and the road. It's this untethered, unapologetic freedom. Just make that movie. Just make that movie. You make some gangsters in there, too. But just, this movie was completely uninspired and an absolute bore. Two stars. I'm Jake Davis, and I'll catch you on the fly.